Welcome to the 203K in a Box FHA Consultant Training System. This is a video in a series that provides training and instruction for the use of the Rehab Reporter software, otherwise known as the 203K Rehab Estimator. This specific training video will describe how you are able to input your logo and signature into the Rehab Reporter software for use with files and printouts that are created by their computer system. In order to do this, you'll need access to your Rehab Reporter software and, if possible, a JPEG file of your signature. If you do not have a JPEG file of your signature, do not be concerned as we will give instruction for how to create one during the course of this video. The first step is to open up your 203K Rehab Estimator software. And then you actually want to go out to the main property, main screen where you see company and consultant information. There you see a button where you can click for company information and letterhead. Here you'll be able to enter your signature and your letterhead. Well, first we'll enter the letterhead. Click the button that says add your letterhead. You can see the screen is blank. Here under the yellow highlighted section is written instructions for how to complete this process. If you need additional assistance, please refer to this section of the file. But what you need to do very simply is click to find the picture file. You're given the option to add a letterhead picture. You click the button that says yes. You want to go to the folder that has your letterhead and what I have done is I have input my letterhead, a copy of it, in the same folder where I keep my version of the Rehab Estimator software for convenience purposes. You see now it says that this folder is empty. It actually is not but because the Rehab Estimator software automatically puts a file name as a default, you actually must delete that and then click open to display the available files. Here you not only see the logo, but you also see my signature, which I'll explain how we input that in just a few minutes. We're going to click the logo and there you see it's now imported into my system. Hit close form and now we return back to the registered company and consultant information screen. The next thing we do is enter the signature. As I said before, you want to keep the copy of that JPEG file ideally in the same location as you have your software. Click to find picture file. Again, the option to add a signature picture and you click yes. So go to the location where you have your file and since I have the word signature in the name, and the Rehab Estimator automatically defaults to the word signature, it does see the file. However, if I did not have that there, if you want to, if your name of your signature is different and does not contain the word signature, just hit delete as we did before and hit open and all available files will be available for you to choose from. So I'm going to click the signature and there you see it entered. Now, if you do not have a signature in a JPEG file on your computer, there's one of three ways you can accomplish this. If you have a scanner that allows you to be able to put a right, then you'll, if you have a scanner, then what you'll do is take your signature and write it on a very bright white piece of paper using a felt tip marker. Do not use a regular ballpoint pen or a Sharpie fine point because it will make the signature too thin to be viewed. So a nice felt tip pen will be what you want and then you sign your signature. Scan it into your computer and then what you'll do is you will cut out the specific, cut around the signature to the specific location that you want to be able to use and then you'll be able to save it as a JPEG file for use in creating your signature. The second way you can do this is less uh, effective and sometimes makes a unacceptably grainy or um, poor quality output and that is to again write your name using a felt tip marker on a bright white piece of paper then in a brightly lit room with limited shadows take a photo of that signature using your camera take the digital picture and import it into your computer cut and paste around it as we described before and then you have your JPEG file the third way that you can do this is if you absolutely have no other way that you can get your signature then you can actually fax it to us at value, excuse me, at 203kinabox.com and our fax number is 
359-1661 and then we will actually edit the picture for you and create the JPEG file for you. If you're looking to use this option please allow two to three days for us to complete this and in addition to sending the fax please email us that you have sent the fax over to us. Now let's show what it looks like once we have completely entered information into our property information. So here we open up a file and there you see where you have your print report page. You see that the section for signature is blank. If you click the button now, the signature and the date will be input into every file that you're using. So let's go and view a sample of a report that requires a signature. And one of those files is on the report that you have to put in, excuse me, which is your identity of interest form. And there you see the date my signature and my name and my consultant ID are showing on the screen. This actually is not my consultant ID, uh, just so that you know I actually have a much lower number but uh, for the purpose of security I was told not to use my correct number. So that's just a made up number. So now just to show you what happens when you are using the signature if you close out this screen and return back to the property information page it wipes out the signature and this is for security purposes to meet with the FHA allowable electronic signature rules. So if you see when I hit print preview again it's gone. In order to keep it in the files that you're using you must hit that button and then immediately go to whatever printing report item you're looking to use. If you are going to create the package the signature will stay in all the forms that you use for your package. So here's an example of a package with the cover page the identity of interest and the certification letter just to show you the signature in it and now we'll hit that into convert to PDF format. If you're looking for information on how to use the PDF redirect please refer to that video in the series. So now we're going to review reports and as you can see the signature is showing up on all of the forms as needed. So now once we close this, again, if we leave this section, this printable area of the software, it will remove the signature. So please be mindful of that. You can only keep the signature if you are inside the printable report section of the system. So this concludes the education and training on how to import signatures into your Rehab Estimator software. Again, if you are having trouble creating a signature file, give us a call or email us and we'll be happy to assist with that process. Thank you so much, and if you'd like more information on becoming a member of the 203K in a Box FHA Consultant Training Power Teams, or you are interested in one of our live events, please visit us online at www.203kinabox.com, or call us or email us, as shown on the screen above. Thank you.